Hi everybody, this is Sean. I'm over at my friend's house, Mike, and we are playing around on a vise. And um, so I, I, I put together this little bottom bouncer jig, so I thought I'd show you how to do it. So what you're going to need to do this is you're going to, I'm using a, a, a size 4 Unqua S as in snake 506 hook. I'd use bigger ones if we had them, but we didn't have any here, so this is what I'm going with. For our tail, I'm going to use something a, a bit different. I'm going to use some muskrat zonker strip. Um, the reason I'm using the mustad, or I'm sorry, the mustad, the zonker strip, uh, muskrat, easy for me to say, is because Mike Adams. Like, hey, why not? I've never heard of those before. And for our body, we're going to use a dubbing brush made by by fair flies and here's what that looks like and we're also going to have a bead on there I don't know what size bead this is it's a mystery bead like I say we're all just playing around here medium. he says it's a medium but it's kind of a bluish purple so let's get started and my thread's going to be um, a 6 op black we don't have, have a name for this because I just this is uh, the second one I've tied but we'll figure out, but I'm thinking this thing's going to hunt like no tomorrow. So we'll do a thread base here, right at the bend, and that's where I'm going to attach my eye at. And I'm tying it on top of the hook, so it's going to ride upside down. I go eight wraps, and I go to the other side, and I do eight more. And then I'm going to go along the top about six times and four and four. This is how I do my eyes. If you guys do it different, that's fine and dandy. But that ain't going anywhere. But to make sure it doesn't go anywhere, we're going to use a little dab of glue. I like to use um, a thin, but I didn't bring any with me. I just brought the, the stuff on a brush, so we'll just put that in there. But I like the thin because it soaks into the, the, the threads and really binds down that eye. So we'll advance our thread to about the barb. Yeah, it's pretty close. Now, because it, it, it's going to be riding upside down, and this is a micro strip, it's not very, um, let's get it in, in screen there so you can see, it's not very thick. Um, I'm just going to strip off a little bit on the top. And I'm going to tie it in upside down so that the hair is going down. There we go. Oop, almost broke that thread. These are sharp hooks. I'll keep a couple wraps underneath it too. Now, as, as I said, we're just kind of horsing around here today. So I've never fished this. I don't know how it's going to work. Maybe I would put a mono loop here in the back to, to help keep this up so that it doesn't tangle. But, you know, actually, looking at it, the first fly I did, it's not going to tangle because of our dubbing brush that we're putting in. So, we'll take our dubbing brush. Like so. And we'll just kind of make some wraps. Make sure it's in there nice and strong. And we'll advance our thread all the way up to right in front of the eyes, or right behind the eyes. I'm going to put a little dab of glue on here. This is super glue. Because I don't want this falling apart after my 20th bass. I want it to last sort of my 100th bass. Now what we're going to do is wrap it. Now I'm going to do this. And I'm not doing a tight wrap because I don't think we need to. This is a, a pretty heavy brush. So I, I don't think it, it, it is necessary to go with uh, really tight wraps. Then we'll get a pair of dykes because this will ruin your good scissors and uh, 
like my mom says, don't mess with my good scissors. And then I'm just going to make a wrap or two in front and I'm going to whip finish it. And if you watched enough of my videos, you know I always do a double whip finish. It's something I learned from John Romer and it's a great, it's a great tip. Put a little bit of glue in there. Okay, my glue doesn't want to behave. I'll glue it later, okay? And then the only other thing I need to do is to pick out the, uh, the fibers a little bit. And I really think this is going to be a hit when I take it out and be bouncing it along the bottom here. Along the rocks and stuff. I think maybe something like this in an orange or an olive imitate a, 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 a crawdad. That's all there is to it. Easy peasy fly. I think it's going to work really well. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.